in 63, 64, the Feynman lecture notes or books from uh, Caltech had just been released and he had copies of them and obviously was fascinated with the content of what Feynman had uh, presented to the undergraduates and he offered up a special studies program for me for my junior and senior years, essentially a one-on-one. -on -one. Here's the books, go away, read them, um, study them, come back and I'll test you and um, hopefully you'll find these books uh, reactivate an interest in physics, and it did. Um, I found the books uh, extremely fascinating from uh, all the subject matter that was published in them. Caltech uh, had a major program that they convinced Feynman to actually teach undergraduate, freshman and sophomore. Uh, the material in those books all the way up through uh, quantum mechanics and quantum physics, which was very unusual in those days for undergraduates to get into those subject matters. Because it was a challenge in teaching at Caltech and it was going to be a lecture series that had been captured on audio video, um, Caltech was fortunate to get a huge grant from the Ford Foundations for a million dollars, which in 1961 dollars, today that would be a grant on the order of something like eight to ten million dollars to produce those three volumes. They were audio, video recorded, they were transcribed by hand, essentially then put into scientific notation, graphic arts, etc., put in. And that results in the three red books that uh, Addison Wesley ultimately published and I used as my study books as an undergraduate. So I became Feynmanized at that time.